Jim. Where were you? For what? Your medical exam. Ten hours ago, you were in a damn firefight. Now it's my duty as ship's doctor. I'm doctorate. fine, Buzz. The hell you are. I'm fine. Status report, Mr. Spock. The Enterprise should be ready for launch by the time we arrive. Good. Good. Captain. Thank you for requesting my reinstatement. You're welcome. As I am again your first officer, it is now my duty to strongly object to our mission parameters. Of course it is. There is no Starfleet regulation that condemns a man to die without a trial. Something you and Admiral Marcus are forgetting. Also, preemptively firing torpedoes at the Klingon homeworld goes against... You yourself said the area is uninhabited. There's only going to be one casualty. And in case you weren't listening, our orders have nothing to do with Starfleet regulation. Wait a minute. We're firing torpedoes at the Klingons? Regulations aside, this action is morally wrong. Regulations I... aside, pulling your ass out of a volcano is morally right. I didn't win any points for that. Oh, Jim, calm down. I'm not going to take ethics lessons from a robot. Reverting to name-calling suggests that you are defensive and therefore find my opinion valid. I wasn't asking for your opinion. Bones, get that thing off my face. Captain? Our mission could start a war with the Klingons, and it is, by its very definition, immoral. Perhaps you should take the requisite time to arrive at this conclusion for yourself. Captain Kirk. Science Officer Wallace, I've been assigned to the Enterprise by Admiral Marcus. These are my transfer orders. You requested an additional science officer, Captain? I wish I had. Lieutenant Carol Wallace, doctorate in applied physics, specializing in advanced weaponry. Impressive credentials. Thank you. But redundant now that I'm back aboard the Enterprise. And yet, the more the merrier. Have a seat, Doctor. Thank you. Shuttle crew, stand by for liftoff. <laughs> Anything. Now get these bloody things off my ship, Captain. Is there a problem, Mr. Scott? Aye, sir. I was just explaining to this gentleman that I can't authorize any weapons on board this ship without knowing what's inside them. Mr. Scott raises yet another point that leads to the bridge. Captain. Mr. Scott, I understand your concerns, but we need these torpedoes on board. Due respect, sir, but photon torpedoes run on fuel. Now I can't detect the type of fuel that's in the compartments on these torpedoes because it's shielded. Now I asked for the specifications, but he said. It's classified. It's classified. So I said, no specs, no signature. Captain, flight check's complete. We're good to go, sir. Thank you, Mr. Sula. Yes, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, sir, I have a walk card to prime. Get down! Jim, your vital's way off. Port to the med bay. Scotty, I need you to approve those weapons. Do you know what this is, Captain? I don't have time for a lecture, Scotty. Do you know what this is? It's a warp core. It's a radioactive catastrophe waiting to happen. A subtle shift in magnetic output from, say, firing one or more of six dozen torpedoes with an unknown payload could set up a chain reaction which would kill every living thing on this ship. Letting those torpedoes on board the Enterprise is the last straw. What was the first straw? What was the... There are plenty of straws. How about Starfleet confiscating my transwarp equation and now some madman's using it to hop across the galaxy? Where'd you think he got it from? Our orders, Scotty. That's what scares me. This is clearly a military operation. Is that what we are now? Because I thought we were explorers. I thought Sign we... for the torpedoes, that's an order. Right, well, you leave me no choice but to resign my duties. Oh, come on, Scotty. You're, You're giving me no choice, sir. You're not giving me I much will of not a choice. Stand by you and just I... make an do you accept sign? my resignation or not? I do! I do. You are relieved, Mr. Scott. For the love of God, do not use those torpedoes.